What's going on there? Leo here. And if you're looking for ways to increase your um, customers for your local restaurant, but at the same time increase, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Increase the number of subscribers to your Facebook messengers. If you're using Facebook messengers to continue to do right, to build a relationship with your customers, to communicate with them, to send them offers, etc then stay tuned. I'm going to show you how we use this, how this local restaurant in Vacaville use this strategy, but at the same time that can be used for local retailers and, and restaurants as well, right? It doesn't need to be specifically type of restaurants, but you get, you'll get you get the idea if you uh, just pay attention. So let's go ahead and get started. So <clears throat> this, uh, what we did here is basically we created a, an offer that we we know that people like these offers, okay? And um, let me just switch over here real quick. We know people like this offer. Um, and if you'll get to see a little bit of how it went, uh, let's see. So if I can remember what it was, I believe it was this one. Uh, one big deal. Let's see, let me try to do something first. Try to clean this up. November deal promo. So let's try to check this one out, okay? Um, no, it was not that one. Remember, apologies. All right, so let me see if I can find you the uh, contest we had. So we 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 had we drove uh, people to get excited uh, through a contest, right? We were giving away a twenty five dollars gift certificate to a lucky winner, right? All they had to do, let me just show you simply how, uh, you know, let me just show you how uh, simple the ad was. Okay, all they had to do was to let us know below in the comment section what their Mexican food was, okay? Uh, and then obviously we put like a slideshow type of different uh, Mexican food or food that is served at this local restaurant in Vacaville. Um, so that's basically what it was, right? We let them know that, hey, win a $25 gift card some from the, uh, the local restaurant. Uh, all they had to do was comment. And if you notice over here, we didn't have a lot of likes, but what we want is, is the comments, okay? Why is it so powerful to have comments? Because um, Facebook takes comments more of uh, uh, more of as of a, as a greater interaction than just simply likes or share. Okay, so if people are talking, having a conversation, that's what Facebook likes to see. Because <clears throat> uh, uh, you know, Facebook is all about social media, about being sociable in uh, in these online platforms, and so. Why is this important for for you or for your restaurant, for your business, um, that Facebook see that there's some type of social interaction going on back and forward? The reason why it's important is because Facebook the text that there's some type of uh, post that is causing people to interact. And what's that? what that tells Facebook is that when people are talking to each other, they stay longer in the platform. And so... That's basically what we that what they want, right? Facebook wants people to stay long on the platform because that way they can continue to serve more advertising to those people, and obviously, uh, advertisers can continue to pay Facebook to continue to show the ads, right? So, Facebook in exchange rewards you, right, for causing for for, act, uh, for helping Facebook to people to stay by obviously continue to show your ad even more. We're paying, yes, we're paying to have the ad shown, but at the same time, Facebook is it's continue to show that, the push the ad as well for us. For example, if you look at some of the numbers over here, um, we had we went a little bit as, as, as four cents per, um, <clears throat> per post engagement. I, I mean, that's, that's really cheap, right, to have a, uh, a a post engagement to lower the cost to basically just four cents and what that means basically because the goal that we wanted to have here was to get more people to comment and the reason why we wanted to get people to comment is because we use a system that is 
uh, that it, that allow us to send messages to people, right? To people that decide to subscribe to receive messages through Facebook, right? And why we want to do that? Well, just think about yourself. Think about how fast you answer or notice or get back to uh, messages on Facebook. Um, if you're not a Facebook user, that could be a bad example, right? But I don't know. Uh, if you're not a good Facebook user, you're a business owner, um, maybe perhaps you want to pay attention to what your customers are doing if you if you notice they're sending a, they receive a message, right? Or, or ask a niece or nephew or son or daughter or whatever, right? Younger generations to see, um, you know, notice how fast they react whenever they get a message. And so that's why it's so powerful that we wanted to, uh, the purpose of this advertising to give away something, right, in exchange to allow, uh, subscribe to or receive or offers and deals and messages in the future through Facebook Messenger. That was why it was so important to us. So um, now basically with this, right, we this basically just spent about $15.00. Um, we got about a thousand people to see or add, meaning, right, they, they, if you didn't know about our, the restaurant, then, nah, then you probably saw it. And guess what? We can continue to send you advertising because you already saw us, right? And so in the future, we can just continue to put advertising in front of you so that uh, you continue to remember that we're still there. We continue to send you offers and deals, okay? And so the results of that was... Uh, I mean, really great. I think we got, as you saw, we got 69 comments there. Uh, out of those 69 comments, I think we got like, um, I'm not sure if I, <clears throat> if I can go back to those, to that data. Let's see. All right, all right. So if I go back to audience, maybe in a time frame, what was the time frame that? So it ended on November 29. Let's see if I can do a report. Uh, when did we start it? Let's say 15 to 30th. Let's say that. See how much we grow. Um, we grew. So. Uh, so between this, this time, there was about 15 new subscribers, okay? So we pay basically about a dollar, less than a dollar since we spend 13 something per subscriber, right? So, I mean, I mean, where else can you, that's a lead basically, where, I mean, it's very, very, um, um, uh, very cost effective to find leads for under a dollar, okay? Um, so just, Think about that, right? And not even that, but just the potential on how how important it is to get in, in these type of leads, right? With Facebook messengers, because you know they're real people, right? Um, you know that you get a higher chance for them to see your messages if you just if if I just go over here and show you some of the messages that we send, um, you'll get to see how insanely high the number of people that open or messages it uh, is. I mean, you don't see this on, on the emails that we send or probably emails that you send. You probably see anywhere between 15 to 30% of people opening the emails and seeing your offers. Uh, but look at the type of um, number of people reading or messages on Facebook. I mean, take advantage while we still have that, right? People do open the messages and as you can see, it's just insanely high how um, the number of people opening the messages. So that's why it's so important to us to um, do that contest there to get people to uh, subscribe to receive our messages. And obviously, so that we can continue to send them uh, offers in the future just by simply sending messages. And then from this, um, we can always continue to, to get them off Facebook, right? We can always send them messages in the future to... Um, get them to provide us their email address so we can actually have them sending communications in two different ways, right? Via messengers and via emails as well. So I hope this you got some value over here. If you have any other ideas of how you can drive um, more sales for local retail or, or restaurant, um, either be using Facebook ads, any type of online advertising or advertising uh, in general, uh, please share, share with us. Let us know what um, type of sort of things you can recommend for local businesses. If you want to know more about me, if you want to reach me, you can see me here on Facebook. 
Leo Callejas. You can see I'm real and I'm getting very involved in the community. You can see uh, photos of me, my families, etc. Um, also, you, you can see, you can come to my website, digitaltrack.co, and uh, you can find my contact information in there as well, 707-410-0307. Right? That's my, uh, my cell, so you can even uh, call me or text me, and then that's my email. So that will come to me. Um, if you're interested to know how your customers are building your, your business uh, online or how your business is showing up online, um, I have, I'm offering a free report. You have to just come fill up this information and then I'll get that information and then I, pro I provide a report of how your business looks online, right? What, um, do, does, it have, does it have information listed that is wrong, right? That is causing perhaps people to get confused and, and lose, lose your business or to go to your competitor or is your business not coming up at all, right? So, um, and then after we review that, we can then provide, I can then provide you some recommendations or what type of actions can be taken to fix issues that may have the your business may, listing may have. So I hope that information helps you. Um, again, if you like this information, and depending on where you're watching it, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, etc., go ahead and uh, like it, comment, share, and have a good one. All right, bye.